a third floor window. Low trumpet notes have cradled the world in blue for weeks, but today they cry like anarchic goats, pale as the sky bleached in haze overhead. Babies keep whining in the long line of prams, from plaza to supermarket, impatient to consume. Frank pays attention for the first time, although the queue has stood undiminished for years, just as the footsie trampolining the pound is, for some, a reason to live, and for others, hidden as the rage of commuters on the bypass or a life support machine's final squeak. In the hospital, Frank's baby's breath blew out like the cherry blossom crash landing around the curbs and drains, raised briefly with every loitering hope or passing bus. The pram babies linger like cappuccino froth or white candles waiting to be lit on windowsills in favour of an unclear cause, while televisions drone on regardless. The trumpet bleats. The reason for a note remains mysterious until the next and then the next, just as commuters beat out progress by traffic lights. The system functions. The operation was successful for a time. Her eyes opened, blue, for a moment blinked and shut. The eighth day. He hears it is good that tills keep clinking, that each day bears its fair share of crashes, that disappointment and music are made possible only by love. The trumpet croaks a flat minimum, and Frank says, I tried, I tried everything, but nothing worked. <laughs>